Students entering in the medical assisting program will learn clinical skills such as vital signs, patient assessment, phlebotomy skills, EKG, and they will also learn how to give medications. We have a clinical lab for those hands-on skills, and then we also have our own administrative lab where they learn a lot about record keeping, scheduling, uh, phone conferencing, communication skills, um, and they get a lot of practice with those types of competencies. I enjoy taking them out of the classroom and sharing the field experience with them as much as possible. Um, we've gone to nursing facilities, we've gone to the free medical clinic, we've gone even to the Humane Society to practice our communication skills. Um, and the students really appreciate that outside experience as much as they do the inside lab experience. We are a KHAP accredited program, which means that we um, meet a certain criteria for our students. When the students complete this program, they are eligible to sit for certification not only through KHAP, but also through NCCT. Um, so they can sit for their CMA certification or their NCMA certification. Once a student graduates from the medical assisting program, they really are prepared to work in a variety of healthcare settings. Students are prepared to work more in an ambulatory care setting, meaning a doctor's office or a clinic, um, but we have had students go into acute care settings like a hospital and work, and we have also had students use this as a stepping stone for their career. So they have moved on to nursing school, uh, we've had students go on to respiratory therapy, so they're very versatile when they leave this program. 